So in the game where you're uh, the muscle collector um, underneath the icebergs, uh, you're going to want to have uh, a feature like this where you almost have a spotlight around you um, and it kind of creates for the user the idea that you can't really see the incoming tide. Um, so just real quick, this um, uh, sprite, I just typed in um, uh, Inuit uh, sprite sheet or something, got that Eskimo sprite sheet um, and was able to steal that so you can see um, all the different costumes. Um, a quick pointer, when I did this, it kind of he looked a little herky-jerky when he was walking. So I lined up every single one of them with this tool um, on his nose, and it kind of had like a uh, stabilizing effect. Um, so every time it moves, his head stays the same, um, and it's just his little feet move. Um, so was providing this uh, kind of like um, spotlight effect on him. Um, I created a second sprite. Um, and the way I did that was I basically just made a circle and then a, a square outline, and then I filled it in with the black thing. Um, so it's transparent in the middle, um, and then centered it um, in that center spot right there. Um, and basically all this does is, and I had to do a little set size to 500%, just so it, it would always take the entire screen, because you can see it's just following me around. So I may even need to go bigger than that. Um, so if the, person, if the person goes all the way to the left, I don't want them to see that half um, size. And I just said, hey, forever go to this character, which is just called Screenshot. Um, but I would encourage you to have a second costume where this thing is clear, um, because when you are playing it, you're going to want to test it all with this clear stage. And in the very last second, um, right before you go to submit, then that's when you're going to want to turn this on, um, that it's actually going to switch its costume, um, to costume one, um, when you begin the game. So anyway, those are some tricks, um, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, happy coding.